Well, some of you have been asking for updates, so I thought I should probably give you all one since it's been a while since we finished the book. Um, I think most of you know my nurse comes on Wednesdays and uh, checks my medication uh, See, sees if I have enough, needs, to, uh, looks to see if I need a, a new prescription or, or what, <laughs> ask what kind of symptoms I'm having. And, um, basically what's happening with me is I'm just growing weaker and weaker all over, um, I'm still walking, but I definitely have to use the walker because I'm real shaky on my feet. Um, my left arm is a little stronger than my right arm, but it's, it's fast catching up to the weakness that my right arm is. Um, the nurse yesterday said that she could tell my right lungs were working better than my left lung was, um, and I'm already running out of air just talking to you guys. That's why I can't read anymore. Um. I don't like to use my machine, and the nurse said I don't have to. And the neat part is I take uh, morphine and lorazepam for my breathing, and as soon as I take it, I mean immediately, um, it works. And... I can breathe easier and I'm hoping that I can just use the medication to breathe with because I just don't like wearing that mask and um, is there anything else I can update you? So, Annie's feeling the baby. I know it's not about me, but it's something I'm excited about. Her due date is March 18th, and November 5th is her next appointment, and she should find out if the baby's a boy or a girl um, then, and we're waiting with bated breath, um, they said they would tell us the names of the babies, of the baby, uh, when they know the gender. Um, uh, Karen's coming back just around that time to spend about three weeks with me. Um, it's kind of like one month on, one month off. She's still getting settled in Colorado Springs. Um, she said she had no idea what it takes to move and get your bank accounts resettled and car licenses and all this stuff. Uh, her financial advisor and um, but she thinks she's found a church that she loves and the really cool part is um, they're having a grief class and She's going to it, and she said she could tell it's going to be very helpful. And she said, hmm. 
she misses the day more now than when he first uh, went to be with the Lord. Sorry, there I go again. <laughs> the water work. Um, so anyway, I'm still here. I'm still alive. The Lord has me here and he's going to have me here for as long as as long as uh, he his plan and um, I try to talk to the Lord about those visitors that I get. Um, I see a social worker and a bath nurse and a regular hospice nurse and I'm trying to remember, I think there's one more that comes. And so anyway, my social worker is a believer. And so as we have wonderful conversations and um thankful for that. So anyway, you want to say hi? Do the gang, the YouTube gang. Hey, YouTube gang. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? Well, just uh, starting to clean clean up the garden. I started the other day and I filled up the yard waste bin again today. So there's more to be done. So. That's his big hobby. He hobby he loves to garden. Garden. So um. And he is having cataract surgery next Monday. And we, oh, one of my, um, so that'll be, help him. He hasn't been able to drive at night. So that should help him. And, uh, uh, I'm trying to get something out, but it, it won't come unless the tears do too. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try to say it. <laughs> um, okay, well, as you can see, I am still alive and uh, doing well and enjoying my McDonald's vanilla shakes. That's the most favorite thing in the world for me to eat right now. I don't know why, I just love them. And uh, so I wish you all um, just a great day in the Lord, and um, I'll come back again. I won't wait as long next time. The nurse did tell Karen I could turn on a dime. Uh, that means my breathing could go downhill just like that, and and uh, I would only have a few days then, so um, but that's all in the Lord's timing and, and hands. So Linda will call Karen if that happens, and she'll get get up here if she's not not here yet. Uh, okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Love you all. Thanks for your prayers.